Good evening, everyone. This is Anthony Taylor, President of Holland Sound Publishing Company. It's a great pleasure to be here before such a, a diverse audience. Singers, writers, songwriters, artists, musicians, engineers. And then, of course, we have our friends that are from England and France, mainly from England, the British. People who are interested in seeing how we conduct our business here in America, how we make a song and put it together and make it a hit. Or oh, hopefully to make it a hit. <laughs> Everybody laugh. Okay, uh, we have a very pleasant evening planned for you. We're going to discuss royalty payments and we're going to discuss uh, about contracts. Royalty payments are very important because uh, they are payments that we receive for our hard, honest work. Well, all the artistic people who participate in the project, a song, or what have you, such as an artist, a lyrics, um, a musician, arranger, we all get a piece of that percentage if that song becomes a big hit. Even if it doesn't become a big hit, we get a, a penny, whatever's due to us, we get. Also, we're going to talk about contracts, which is very important in our business. That's for the artist's protection, for the company's protection, uh, to make sure that uh, people who are performing that they uh, that they have that they are the rightful owners of that product that they're not infringing on no one else's rights so um, I ask you to sit back and relax we're going to use a spreadsheet to um, we have some visual aids let's say <laughs> that's going to help us out to uh, understand the concept of royalty payments and contracts. And also, there's going to be a question and answer session. So sit back and relax, and thank you for coming. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, my great audience, um, as you can see, this is a spreadsheet. I don't know if you can see me or not, but I'm, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. This is a spreadsheet. And it's on my computer system. And, I don't know, um, uh, if you can't see, don't worry. I will be, I will be, um, passing out handouts with the breakdown of, of the royalty payments. Uh, pertaining on, on the spreadsheet. As you can see, this is photographers. They receive 12% of whatever the amount might be. Maybe it might be $100,000 or $1,000. Engineers receive 9%. Equipment is 6%. Miscellaneous staff is 4%. Songwriters, 11%. Musicians, 85 8.5%. And Rangers, 8%. Managers, 9%. 9.5%, excuse me. Singers, 10%. And then producers, 22%. If you add, all the, or add up all these percentages, they come out to 100%. Uh, if you go across the spreadsheet, the top heading is A, B, C is by letter. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Then if you go down, it's numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 21. Now, one thing good I like about the spreadsheet is that if you hit the uh, the mouse right here, add more click. information. Look at all that space we have. All that information you, you can add onto the spreadsheet. And initially, I had used the pie. The pie is good. But I think the spreadsheet is much, much better because... You have enough space to put as much information as you need. See, I put the royalty payments of a song or a song of a song or product. And this is prepared by me, Anthony Taylor. That concludes that presentation. Are there any questions? Uh, does anyone understand this? Is there anyone here who does or does not understand this spreadsheet? Okay. Uh, everyone have the know the concept of what a royalty payment is. All right, since there's no further questions at this moment, we will move on. Thank you.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I continue my presentation on royalty payments and contracts. I hope everyone's enjoying his or herself. I know I am. Um, after this, we will have a little. Uh, excuse me. After this, we will have a little break. Socializing. Uh, we have a cup of go out and drink a cup of water. Um, <clears throat> after this presentation of contracts on the slides. And then we have our question and answer session. Uh, I believe my presentation thus far has been clear. Everyone understand? Okay, thank you. Now just uh, sit back and relax uh, for the continuation of this presentation. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, this is our slideshow. Contracts, Holland Song Publishing Company, for legal requirements of a contract. Now what I'm going to do, unfortunately you can't see, I'm going to press slideshow if I can get it. Um, let's see. Let's see what it goes with the slide. Yeah, here we go. Holland Song Publishing Company. Four legal requirements of a contract. like we have some difficulty here it should be moving to the next slide I don't know why um, let's see <laughs> these things do happen <laughs> uh, one moment oh there we go oh my goodness I went too fast Uh, one moment please okay we have the slideshow back in session again I don't know if you can see me or not hi we have the appendix this is the fourth element quid pro quo and even exchange for something for something that's one of the elements of a contract it, it didn't get put in during the first part this is the first element offer presents something Present something for someone to accept or refuse as they wish. For an example, uh, if, if if a masonry wants to do your steps, he offer you a price, you may accept it, or you might tell him to wait for a couple of weeks until you get another uh, estimate. Then one party agrees to receive or do something offered in other words if an offer is made and acceptance is, is, is an acceptance is understood in legal court if that party agrees to receive or do something uh, in, an, in an exchange and both parties must be of legal age to enter a contract and in other words both parties must be of legal age to enter a contract uh, to, in other words it must be an adult considered to be an adult in the state of New York I believe the age for a woman is 18 and the age for a man is 21 and this concludes our little slideshow on Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. That concludes the presentation of royalty payments and contracts. I hope you have enjoyed the visual, uh, the visual aids that I have used. Um, are there any questions, concerns, or comments? Okay. Well, I hope. Um, 
I hope and that everything is well for our foreign uh, friends and visitors from England and France and I hope that everyone enjoyed themselves. I hope all your questions were answered pertaining to contracts and royalty payments. If not, we have plenty of literature and we have plenty of aid here. Thank you, have a pleasant evening, and hope to see you at the next presentation. This is Anthony Taylor.